strong against the Freeze Mage. But looks like it's going to try it one more time. Just Firebass says, screw it. I had a bad game. Just move past it. And then Tyus is like, well, I'm more than willing to stay on the deck. That's tried and true. Firebat looks so sad. Uh, he, it's just his eyebrows. And He's they got very sad eyes. They naturally start sloping upwards. Um, so that it's just people used to say Firebat looked like he cried every time he was playing on camera, because he, when he's like thinking really hard, he like you know, wrinkles his forehead to the point where it looks like he's really sad. <laughs> <laughs> that was my Firebat. Is that your is that your Firebat impression? <laughs> your your eyebrows are too round. They have to be. Is it good? They have to be more. Hey sad. man, yeah. my eyebrows are not too round. Your eyebrow. <laughs> It wasn't. It wasn't innuendo for anything. Else. <laughs> yeah. It was a a jab at my life. It was and your mama. <laughs> that wasn't any type of figurative <laughs> or innuendo. That's just you jabbing at your my mama. Your mama's so fat. Even six mech warpers couldn't get her out. <laughs> I am ready. All right, clockwork gnome. That's a very weak start. Uh, into hand. The first thing is not having the coin actually really does stink. Having the extra card as the aggro deck allows you to flood the board with a little bit more pressure, especially if you're running Undertaker. Mm -hmm. And Firebat's hand is looking way better. Ice Barrier, probably not that great. Uh, but the fact is he has an early answer to Mech Warper. And if Tice is uh, keeping his... trying to like play around that, he plays Snow Chugger so that way it doesn't get Frostbolt so he can get all his mana and tempo. But Firebat's on top of it. And this is where, like, we're talking about can the freeze mage stall long enough to the point where it's just going to run away with the game. Mm -hmm. out, of, out of the faster decks, like the more aggressive decks, mage does probably have the toughest time against freeze mage. Like, hunter's great against freeze mage because you're just so fast. Uh, fast druid, like combo druid's great against freeze mage because yep. you can put them on a clock as well. That's a great point. Um... Unless you draw really fast board clear, sometimes Zoo can, can burn you out. But I guess it's sort of the same case with Mage, where sometimes if you have early answers as the Freeze Mage, it's just so hard to break through. Did you just ignore this Acolyte? You have Antonitis in hand. So the key would just be try to load up on spells mm -hmm. and maybe use your burn to finish him off. It's true. If he gets the Antonitis out and is able to draw one or two oh. fireballs, could be enough. Like someone closed the door behind Firebat. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness he's still safe. Wait, but the other door is like slowly peeking open. What, what is, is going door? on in the fire in the not the Firebat? The Archon House is it haunted or something? Spooky. Someone, Too spooky for me. Someone's hiding in Firebat's bathroom. <laughs> they don't have desks. So Kit maybe Kats. They... It's Kit Kat scouting. <laughs> it's like Kit Kats, you can just watch the stream. <laughs> He's like peering over with a spoon, you know, to the, yeah, like yeah. doing the old detective thing when they didn't have like cell phones or anything like that or cameras. Kid cats, you he, like puts dog. out a dentist uh, spoon, like an instrument <laughs> to try to see what's going on. It's like who you're trying to fool, Kit Kats. <laughs> oh, God. He's waiting for his moment. Was that mere entity being uh, played from the Mad Scientist, by the way? Uh, I think was. that's the only secret. This early game uh, momentum can be stopped. It's just one Doomsayer. And keeping your health as high as possible is definitely key importance as well. So if you have the opportunity, you usually take it. For now, though, it seems like Fireback can just stabilize and remove some damage on the board with a Frostbolt and a ping. And then Cogmaster will have to require another mech in order to get its maximum damage. Ooh. Okay. Also works as well. Yeah. Because if it, there's a likelihood that even if you don't remove uh, the Cogmaster, like if you just leave him at one health by removing the mechs, this is a mech mage, so oh. it's likely that it just he'll draw another mech next turn and just be able to play that to buff it back up. Yeah, Doctor Boom is like a nice draw, but in the sense that it's not good for this turn, but great in the overall scheme of things. You need like a really big minion to do some huge pressure. <laughs> Firebat's so comfortable. Uh, he's drawn 
pretty much a full hand here, and he's gonna be at 28 health effectively. But now Dr. Boom like signifies the point where like Firebat actually has to address the board and acknowledge yeah. Snow Chugger's presence. Snow Chuggers are like, Firebat, notice me, Senpai. <laughs> Because until then, he's just like be ignoring him. Yeah, he's drawn into a lot of his burn as well, and ice block. Mm -hmm. uh, second ice block. So he's got the tools that he needs. He just has to make sure that he is stable enough to where he can play an Alex Straza right. on turn 9 without being in, in risk of uh, dying the following exactly. turn. In fact... Oh. Okay, fireball on this is okay. That's I was going to say, um, if he had the burn damage, just he just has to keep stalling for two turns. Frost no or Alex draws the face, and then uh, just let the burn do the rest. But mm -hmm. giving up the burn now is okay, so he does have Pyroblast. He still technically didn't have like a, a one-turn kill after Alex draws it. And this sets it up for a much stronger opportunity, like Blizzard or Flame Strike. He does not have those, though. Doesn't have it yet. Oh, but I mean, the deck is loaded with so many AOE. Like Cone of Cold, also would have been pretty good, because mm -hmm. then you would have been able to like really freeze a lot of the damage off. Ty's doing a good job playing around Cone of Cold, by the way, separating Doctor Boom and uh, the Pilot Shredder as far away as possible. Segregation. It's a good thing in Hearthstone. Mm. All right, not very much so everywhere. Else. I wasn't expecting this kind of talk. <laughs> what is this? A snow trigger <laughs> off a Pilot Shredder? Snow Chuggers upon Snow Chuggers upon Snow Chuggers. Chugger, 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 chugger. It's the sound of nightmares. No, it's not. For Warriors. Oh, I was just, I was thinking about like a really good sound for my text messages. Chugga, chugga. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do chugga, chugga. I'm not coming over to your house anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I was kidding. No, you weren't. I love chugga, chugga. No, you weren't. TJ used to sleep over my house every weekend. What happened? Now you don't. I don't see you anymore. <laughs> it's Charles. <laughs> it's Milkcast. Milkcast is Frodan's roommate. He chased you off. He smells like cats. The Starcraft bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, well, here's an interesting thing too. Uh, Firebat. Firebat has. Uh, he does have Alex Straza, and he could like put him to 15. And over the course of turns, he could gather burn to kill him, right? With Antonite's Ice Block. Um, there's a lot of ways to play out the next couple of turns here. Yeah. He can't actually kill Antonitis. That's actually a big problem. Uh, that's a, I'd say that's extremely problematic. So uh, might he have to go aggressive then? Okay, well... Oh no, Mirror Entity, I forgot about that. There's Mirror Entity Whoa. on the other hand. there's Alex Straza that's going to be appearing. So this is really problematic because he doesn't have the burn in his hand, like you said, to be able to kill him on the next turn. Right. So if he Alex Straza's right now and it gets Mirror Entity, his Icebox is going to be popped. So the next turn he can't even set up more burn. Right. Um, because he'll have to Ice Block. So he can't like throw out the Power Blast. Oh, he's going to draw and try to freeze. So he's going to Frost Nova now to stop him. Oh, or Ice Barrier. Effectively gaining the same amount of health. It's 8 health, 8 damage. Ice Barrier actually makes a lot more sense, um, considering that uh, Frost Nova is more flexible with uh, what's on board. He can pop the... Firebat has Fireball number 2. He can pop the block. Okay, so Fire Firebat needs the next draw to be an Ice Lance. Um, Oh yeah, you're right. He can pop the ice block right now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> this is really clever spotting from Tice. That f that that uh, Thanos was a really big deal. And he could put him at one health. Uh, wait. Oh, okay, never mind. It doesn't matter the same exact damage. Yeah. So if he hits this and then right and and then. Oh no, he can't. Oh, okay. one health. Two health was. Yeah, there. he. No, no. I think if you're right, if he. Um, if he saved the blood mage for last. Right. If he attack with the blood mage at the very last. Yeah. Second. So a very, very small sequence error, but. Yeah. 
Uh, I think Tice has this. Because Antonias can't be stopped. And Firebat looks like he was up 2-1, and I thought wow. he was going to go to the semifinals. It was almost, in my opinion, like a foregone conclusion. Oh, my goodness. But I think he's done. Ho, ho, ho! Ha-ha! <laughs> well, that was... Tice uh, moves on to the semifinals, and uh, it wasn't... It wasn't pretty, that's for sure. It was no. definitely more of a slug fight. Yeah. Or slug fest. Slug, slug fest. <laughs> slug fight. Slug fight. No, well, no. Fatigue well. mage versus fatigue mage would be a slug fight. Yeah. Yeah, it was a slug fest. But uh, ends up being Tice's way 3-2. He advances to the semis, and that shouldn't surprise people, uh, considering how close it was. If he went to a best of seven, it probably would have made the game seven. Yeah, uh, I would definitely agree with that one. And, uh, just a really close series, I'd say... Even though the first series and this one were both 3-2, uh, the last two matches of that one were just really, really close. So uh, Tice moving on. Firebat, unfortunately. Uh, he was that sort of, not last-minute invite, but since Pinpingo uh, decided to decline since he qualified through points, mm -hmm. we gave the interview, uh, that invite to Firebat. So now we have Lonely League versus Savitz coming up, followed by Hamas versus Gara. Two very long series to start of the day, uh, but plenty of more Hearthstone action to come up. We want to thank our sponsors, uh, who make this broadcast possible as well over at Cooler Master, Crucial, Western Digital, and uh, just Newegg in general. They've been really, really helping out the ESL America studio. The, the least you could do to help support us is to uh, click on these links and just you know support those who make it possible. Plantronics also has jumped on board. They're giving away lots of cool stuff, those headsets, uh, expert packs to unlock more dust or whatever you guys want. Unlock more dust. Unlock more dust. Must acquire more dust. Indeed. We're going to take a break. When we come back, more action here at the quarterfinals of Week 8 of the Legendary Series.